Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, this morning, we're gonna be talking about the Sagittarius full moon. I just wanna dive right into this because I did take this morning to take some time to go into my meditation as usual, as always. You guys know how I roll. But there was a few things that came through that make sense but were still kind of shocking to me and I want to talk to you guys about them openly and candidly of course so the first thing makes sense because it's about our perspective the way that we view the world our world and how we view the world and our perspective of the world is a mirror image of our perspective and our feelings towards ourselves it's so interesting how how you are taking care of yourself internally will directly impact how you you approach the world, how you approach others, and what you are capable of doing. The only thing that has changed as far as your potential, as far as what you can do, what you can achieve, and who comes into your life and what blessings that it is that you receive ultimately ends up being you because it's your ability to see the blessing, see the abundance, see the gratitude, and be open to receive it. In order for you to be open to receive it, you have to know that you are worthy of receiving it, and all of that comes from perspective. How you view yourself, how you view the world. Is the world a cold place? Are you a cold person? Is the world a warm place? Are you a warm person? Are you tired? Are you exhausted? Are you seeing problems and conflict around you? Are you getting inspired by that? Are you getting called to action? Are you getting called to withdraw and to go within? So that was the main thing and that all by itself is a message. And even though Sagittarius is very much about the external, it's all about going out, it's all about helping. In order to help others and help this world you have to start from within you have to start with your friends you have to start with your family you have to start with your home environment this is why it's very important for you to call in safety and security and stability and love for yourself i'm also seeing and the, wait let me take a step back before i go any further the north node the north node is where we are collectively drawn to go what is pushing us where we are being pushed to go where where we are supposed to set our sights not because it's easy not because the path is going to be effortless all the time but it's because this is our destiny this is what we're meant to be focusing on this is what we're meant to be striving towards and when the north node falls in the sign of cancer this is about us nurturing this is all about us being active nurturers active nurturers meaning that every day every decision every move that you make let it be from a space of this is giving in a way that is nurturing to me and to others that it's not depleting that it's not stripping away from our power in fact us giving to ourselves gives us our power the opposite of cancer is capricorn i just had this conversation with my friends yesterday one well we had a, a lot of conversations going on but we're sitting on the balcony we're all reading our books we we're feeling the breeze we we're feeling the heat we we're feeling the sun we we're feeling the shade and we were just started talking just naturally started talking and we did end up deviating and moving over to astrology for a minute and we were talking about I was talking about Capricorn and the energy that Capricorn brings now I know I understand that this video is about Sagittarius full moon but hear me out but the energy that Capricorn brings, it's very structured, it's very stable, it's very, you know, build, 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 grow, 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 achieve, accomplish, in order to preserve and build up long, you know, um, lasting wealth, lasting security, things that are committed and bonded to us in a way that creates stability for ourselves. But we can't do that if to our core if we have not been nurtured. We can't externally create success or even feel successful or receive success if internally we are questioning our value, we're questioning our worth, if or if we don't feel safe and secure. We can't be in a space of success and wealth and um, expansion, and that's another thing too that Jupiter energy brings Sagittarius because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is currently retrograde. So it's like we want to grow, we want to expand, we want to do the most, we want to be, you know, seen as friendly, outgoing, optimistic, um, filled, filled with ideas, we want to be our max potential. 
but there's so much within us right now that is making us question our worth, making us question our value making us question, am I really ready? Can I really do this? Is this really truly what I want? Can I rely on you? Is this supportive? Is this going to um, pay off in the long haul? Because I don't know. I don't know and it's giving me discontent. It's giving me restlessness. It's giving me anxiety. It's giving me depression. It's making me question myself. It's making me question everything. So do you see like how this is why I want to bring always authentic information and authentic messages to my YouTube channel. I do not want external messages and external conversations and dialogue from what's going on on the internet to bleed into what it is that I'm seeing and what it is that I'm feeling here because it will impact and that is my perspective. I want to keep my perspective pure. But I, it sounds like I'm going off on a tangent, but maybe I am. But these are some things that I'm saying because I feel the same thing for us as a collective. I am a part of the collective. So if I'm a part of the collective, what I'm feeling on my end, you might be feeling on your end, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but it's there. So what I'm seeing is just how I said, I don't want to bleed in external and I cancel it out. That's why it's very important for me to have a personal life and for me not to engage in you know, the ex, you know, the, what, what the chaos, you know, the voices, the messages, everything else. I stay very much internal. And the same thing is what I'm seeing here for us as a collective, as a whole, especially with the Sagittarius full moon. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of things going on around you. There's a lot of things going on within you, but you know the answer. You know your truth. Why? Because Sagittarius and Jupiter energy connects always with philosophy. It connects always with the seeking for truth. This is not only the truth for all of us. This is the, your truth, your reality, your perspective, your view. How does it make you feel? What do you want? What are you working towards? This is the hermit. And I saw the hermit. I think I had pulled the, card, the hermit card. Here it is. This is the hermit card. These are the three cards that I pulled earlier. This is the hermit card going within and asking himself or herself questions to find the truth of your being. The, the answers that is that you're seeking, they can only come from within. And the thing is, is that if you are taking care of yourself, your answers will become far more clear. Your path will become far more clear. The only way to take care of yourself right now is to nurture yourself, to make sure that you have around you people who love you and support you, that you have people within your circle that are truly there for you and not working against you. They're being honest with you. They're being authentic with you. They are not afraid of vulnerability. They are not afraid of expressing their heart. You are not constantly giving and giving and giving and giving and serving to them because they can't serve for themselves. At some point, they have to do it themselves. At some point, they have to rise up. At some point, they have to actively nurture themselves and not have others spoon feed them and carry them the rest of the way. You carrying these weakened, you know, relationships sometimes and you know, it's it's a it's a double-edged sword, you know, it's there's a lot that comes with this because there's some people, I don't want to say you know, cancel out this friend, cancel out this person, but there needs to be space. There needs to be a healthy space so that they can actively choose for themselves what whatever it is that they're going to do because that's their destiny. And maybe they'll come into that truth themselves. Maybe they'll come into that realization. Maybe life has to beat them down a little bit before they finally pick themselves up and say, you know what? I decide to do differently today. Or maybe this is you. Maybe this is you being in a space where, you know what? I decide to do differently today because I am depleted, I am tired, I am enraged, I am an advocate, I am a truth seeker, I will not settle for this anymore, I will do more with what I have now. That is my intuition, that is my truth, that is my reality, I have to trust that. I'm seeing this this message of being cautious, but in the sense of being really cautious about what you're telling yourself, being really cautious about what it is that you hear because that will shape shift your perspective. This is when you're asking people for advice and yeah, you know what, their advice may be well, well intentioned for you, like it may, be, it may come from a, a good spot, but ultimately if you ask yourself, you know, if you ask yourself, you know, what is it that I want, how does this make me feel, that, that is truth by itself, that's going to help you to make the decision. There's another thing too that is connected to fear. There is a 
a thing here that's connected to resistance. I resist this, I block this out because I am fearful. What happens with that is that if you operate from fear alone, you cancel out so much beauty, you cancel out so much blessing. This is having courage. Courage is not, you know, being without fear. This is feeling that fear, but knowing that I have to do this anyway. This is, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going, but the, the, the reward is so much greater than the risk. The, the, re risk, the risk is actually a part of the reward because it's going to play into our story. It's going to play into, you know, this is what I experienced, this is what I went through, and it makes it all worth it. Now, for Sagittarius um, energy, there is always this space of, <clears throat> the, you know, going out and exploring. <clears throat> Sometimes that's exploring your world. So for some of you guys, you're going to be booking trips, you're going to be expanding your knowledge, you're going to be expanding your education, you're going to be taking that knowledge very seriously. For others, this is about, okay, I need to see the world within me. There's so much about myself I don't know. There's so much about myself that I'm just discovering. There is renewal here. I grew up this person. This was my childhood. So that person, that child, that adolescent, that young adult, that adult, that elder did things this way because my experiences taught me that. But as I'm learning and as I'm becoming more vulnerable and with myself and with others and as I'm nurturing myself, I am seeing that that person was a fraction of who I am now and now I'm exploring the world of myself, the truth of myself. I'm giving myself a chance, I'm giving myself an opportunity. It may not even make sense to me and it may freak me all the way out, but I'm going to actively decide to nurture this side of myself and give myself a chance. What will I discover? That is so exciting. <laughs> There's a lot of um, travel here. Uh, meaning travel, meaning like it's like astral travel, it's internal travel, it's physical travel. Some of you guys don't even like to travel. I relate to that. <laughs> Me personally, I like to stay home. I'm a Virgo, I'm a Cancer rising. I prefer to be at home, I prefer to work from home, I prefer to have people within my home, I prefer to spend time with my friends in their homes. I prefer to cook, I prefer to clean. That is me in a nutshell. Yeah, I enjoy to travel. Like if I'm going to travel, it's going to feel like I'm connecting with others to go to their home or go to family or because I'm traveling with someone who feels like home and we're doing this together. Um, that's how I like to travel. <laughs> Agree to disagree, I'm just talking about my experiences. But I'm seeing so much right now on finding security for yourself. Again, Saturn, Pluto, Saturn and Pluto are both retrograde. Jupiter is currently retrograde. And because of that, it's like the rug is getting ripped out from underneath you. Meanwhile, you're getting like changed. You're getting singed. I had a, I did a reading for a friend, a close friend, and I just saw him and if you're watching, you know who you are, but I just saw him feeding himself to the fire, feeding himself to the fire, and basically what it was, it was like, he just kept being, you know, destroying these old sides of himself, these old relationships, these old connections, and feeding them to the fire so that he could be born again, and from the ashes, he was rising this, into this new self, and I actually see him kind of entering into the space of a healer, a shaman, an artist, a writer, an articulate, whatever that means for him. I, I, it'll be interesting to see what he does with this. But the same thing as what I'm seeing here with Pluto retrograde is so much. So many of us are running around on fire, like we're on we're on fire, <laughs> like the flames. Okay, do you see the flames? They're here. So it's because it, it's not anything to panic over, but it's something to see and to acknowledge and be like, wow, I really am being born anew right now. There's a sunrise. There's a sunset. Just as a sunrise or sunset turns the sky totally red and sets it ablaze, that is what's going on within you. 
Some of you guys are getting called to action. Some of you are being called to step into your personal power, to fight, to advocate, to be a leader, to speak up, to not be dormant. For some reason that word just came through, to not be dormant. This is you following your intuition. This is not you collectively <clears throat> attacking, attacking. This is not you projecting because it's so important for you to nurture yourself if you are a change agent you need to nurture yourself if you are making changes around yourself for yourself you need to nurture yourself if you are doing the most you have to nurture yourself if you are in a space right now where internally there's chaos within you you have to nurture yourself why because north node and cancer is asking you to do this meanwhile Pluto, Saturn, sitting directly opposite of the North Node, sitting in the sign of ca Cancer, is saying, can you, will you do it? Or will you feed yourself into the flames and allow it to destroy you? Feed yourself, feed yourself, give to yourself. Don't be a martyr, don't, um, you know, there, it all, the, the, the visual that I get is um, people who were protesting, even the, the monks, they were protesting, they would set themselves on fire and enter into a space of meditation. That is such an extreme example, but for some of you guys, you need to ask yourself, this flames that I'm feeding, this flame that is around me, this flame that is within me, is it destructive to myself? Because I need to nurture myself. I can't give to the right, I can't be of, of service, I can't create and implement change if I myself am burning and burning and burning. I need to do things differently. I will make a statement, but I need to make sure that the statement that I'm making is going to make a change. I need to I need to go within and ask myself that. Now, again, some of you guys are there's there's always polar opposites because that's how energy works. There's always opposites of this and then there's gray area. So some of you guys are doing this out outrage is going external. It's going to the to the rest of the world. Maybe you're doing environmentalism, maybe you're f fighting for women's rights. Maybe you're fighting against poli fighting with, with your politics, fighting with your words, advocating for less than, advocating for what you believe in. Some of you guys are fighting within. That fire is literally internal. It is within you. And it is exhausting. It is like, it's a lot. It's enraging you. There is a restlessness. There's a restlessness there. And I literally just talked about this yesterday when I wrote, I saw this passage. It was called Divine Discontent. And basically what this is, is like that space when we enter at our lives. And it happens for all of us when we become restless, restless when we become anxious, where it looks like depression. It's not. It's just that right now I'm not happy with status quo. So my spirit, my soul is calling me to do more. My spirit, my, my spirit, my soul is calling me to, to step out. I need to believe in myself. What is the abundance? When you hear abundance, is it just exclusively material worth and material value? Is it an abundance of love? Is it abundance of family? Is it an abundance of a change? What are you calling out? What do you need? That's what I'm seeing. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Oh, um, Sagittarius is known for being connected to independence. I don't see this as you, as you or me saying, I don't need you. That's not the truth. We all need each other, okay? We all need each other. Being an independent woman or being an independent man or independent person does not mean that you are going without others. Being self-sufficient doesn't mean that you are going without others. It means that you have enough within you to thrive. That is what self-sufficiency is. That you by yourself are alone by yourself are enough. It's not that I don't need anybody. It's not that I don't want anybody else. It's not that you know, I don't want to share. It's not that I don't have gratitude. It's that I have entered into a space where me, myself, and my spirit, my soul is at peace and that is good and right with me. That is okay with me. I am content. I am okay. Are you there? Ask yourself, am I okay? And if you're not okay, North Node in Cancer, nurture the crap out of yourself. Give to yourself. Drink water. Sleep. Boundaries. <laughs> Boundaries, friends, family, coworkers, yourself. You can be your own worst enemy. Do you have boundaries for yourself? Sometimes it'll be like, ah, we're not thinking that thought today, Victoria. <laughs> 
we are not going to indulge in that behavior Christopher we're not doing that that is a boundary you have to have for yourself mentally whoa that makes a lot of sense now it makes sense why I'm getting rage because Mercury <laughs> why did I, well, how did I not see this Mercury and Mars are sitting in cancer everyone thinks that cancer is the softest sign of the zodiac no it's emotional, it rules, its power comes from its emotions, its power comes from its intuition, from its feeling. It is not the softest sign within the zodiac. I'm not gonna say who the softest sign of the zodiac is because people get offended. That zodiac sign in particular would get offended. But cancer is not the softest sign of the, the zodiac. Cancer is act, active nurturing, actually. That's a really good way of saying it. And with the North Node sitting very, very close to Mercury and Mars, and with Mercury and Mars sitting directly opposite Saturn and Pluto, you are being ignited. You are being called. This is a part of destiny. This is part of purpose. This is not easy. That feeling that you feel, that fear that you feel, that anxiety that you feel, that tension that you feel, that the discontent that you feel, that is there for a reason. It is because you are called to ask for more. What is more for you? What is abundance for you? What are you lacking? Again, am I okay? Am I okay? And I want to say to you guys, you will be okay. Like, the earth, right? Okay, last thing. I know I'm, it sounds like I'm all over the place, but sometimes my meditations get me like this. But the earth is an abundant space, physically, mentally, like, well, like physical and energy. It's such an abundant space. When we nurture it, when we give to it, if that is truly the case with the earth, it is also the truth for ourselves because we are living beings. We are a part of this. So if you are destroying yourself, if you're destroying the earth, your resources will be depleted. If you're destroying your mind, the, the resources of the mind will be depleted. If you're destroying your spirituality, then the resources of your spiritual self will be depleted. The same thing we're doing with our planet is a mirror image of what it is that we're doing to ourselves. So we need to simplify we need to think differently. We need to think outside of the box. We need to be more vulnerable. We need to accept that we are not perfect. We need to accept that we need to make change. But while we're doing this, we need to make sure that we are fulfilled, that we are being filled. Because we can't do it if we're dried out. We can't do it if we're bone barren. We can't do it if we're like flaming, um, fanning the flames within ourselves and around ourselves to the point where it's depleting. I love you guys. It breaks my heart, like how much I freaking have so much love for you guys. I don't know what that means, but it breaks me. It breaks me open. Like you ever love something so much that it just cracks your heart open. That's kind of where I've been at lately. And you guys know, like I told you, Gemini, Gemini, when the moon, when the sun moved into Gemini, I was going through it. I still am. I feel like so much of me is being cracked open, and it's a heart that is really, really big and experiences a lot of things and it's just getting cracked open left and right like coconut. <laughs> What's in there? So I relate to these messages to myself, but I love you guys. Like I legit love my tribe. I love my family. I love what, you know, what this is. I love your comments. So leave them down below. Share your experiences. Email me. Talk about it. Get it off of your chest. I gave you permission to get it off of your chest because I feel like that's needed. On that note, full moon's blessings. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure that you're subscribed, turn on your notifications, that way you receive this video and all others because they tend to come with divine timing.